Hey Cancer, it is just the middle of the what seems to be longest month, okay? Anywho, if you are interested in what's currently going on a little mid-month check-in around your money and career, definitely make sure that you're tapped in below Cancer. Leave me a little residue of your vibe, your energy, and let's get into what you need to know about your moolah, okay? Welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Hopefully, y'all did not hear my stomach growl and won't hear my stomach growl. But if you do, that's what it is, okay? <laughs> um, but, yeah, let's get into the current energy around Cancer's finances, career, overall energy, spirit, mid-month check-in for my Cancerians, finances, career. What's... Ooh happening it's a lot happening okay um <laughs> overall energy for cancers career and finances current energy for cancer spirit There we are. So we got the star. Looks like you are needing to have a little bit of faith around um, your finances. You are exercising some faith in your finances. This, I don't know why it's giving me the vibe of manifestation too. Um, but I do feel like there is some type of... Um, spiritual spiritual kind of connection to your finances and career right now and i feel like that was even a message that may have come out uh just here recently where you know to look to kind of heal your financial issues or um how to get over those challenges was to kind of look towards um kind of spiritual things or you know kind of exercising or examining your faith i feel like too with this energy the card so it, the card says inspiration fulfillment and faith i feel like there's some type of fulfillment that's coming or is even here for you currently around your finances or career there could be something um fulfilling as far as what you're deciding to to move into i love that this is aquarius energy but it's the water um you know aquarius is known as a water bender um, it's a 17 card. One and seven is eight. Definitely the number of abundance. And I love, yeah, I do just feel like right now there's a, a very spiritual thing happening for you around your finances and career. So let's get a little bit more insight about it. Of course, here at the bottom, yeah, the color purple is really sticking out. The um, strength card is here at the bottom of the deck. Two, two major arcanas. So I definitely feel like this is a uh, major energy around your finances and career right now. But yeah, there is, there is the energy or the sense of having to balance or kind of even be courageous to, um, I feel like this is a part of like a journey of enlightenment. That's what it's given, like a spiritual journey, a spiritual quest. And see, there's this illumination of infinite um, information behind you. So I feel like, too, you're being asked to kind of persevere per, um, past your challenges. You know, it looks like it can almost kind of be challenging. You're trying to like carry, carry these um, buckets or, you know, whatever of water. It could be a challenging kind of... Um, or an uphill battle, as they would say. But you do have this, the courage to withstand. A lot of pentacles showing up <clears throat> under that, too. Four of pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like right now you may be trying to like, exercise some type of control over your finances. It's getting kind of serious, too, I feel like, around your finances. Let's just see. Let's go. Fear wanted to show up right there. So, hmm. What's the uh, current challenge Cancer is facing in regards to their finances and career? Current challenge that Cancer is facing. So asking for help. All right, so right now you may... Um, 
it may be hard for you to ask for help too, Cancer. Asking for help is not a weakness, okay? It's actually a strength, okay? Someone may need to hear that. I feel like too, definitely tying back into this, this overall energy of the star, um, all hope is not lost in the situation, okay? You may want to reconsider. Some of you may have already decided that maybe you don't want to have help. And like I said, it may be a lot to balance or a lot to um, control. And so Spirit is saying, consider to ask for help um, in regards to your financial problems. This could also look like, you know, this doesn't have to say that you're going through a financial crisis or whatever, um, but you could be thinking about like asking for help on how to like, you know, set a budget or um, it's kind of, it feels like the energy of getting serious around your, um, your finances, looking at your finances, your financial situation from a different perspective and see, and I feel like the different perspective is a spiritual one. Okay. It's like, you may be looking at your financial situation in the 3d, in the material sense, you know, of money, but I feel like we're talking about spiritual wealth here too. Okay. And when you're looking at, when you kind of lean into your faith and, um, that sort of thing, when it comes to your financial situation or whatever is going on in your work situation, it's like, that's where you're needing to kind of look for your help. So again, just com confirmation that that's where you're needing to kind of look for your help. Uh, cancer for some reason, hold on y'all because I just happen to have the, the box and the book here for this deck and someone told me to pick it up. So let's just see what additional message they have in the book. I always love to read the author's interpretation of their card. Um, so it says, now is the time for gratitude and joy, Cancer. The star you see on this card is a light at the end of the tunnel. Challenges fade and wonderful new experiences enter your life. Relationships that have been challenged in the past will now be rekindled. Your angels encourage you to feel great optimism and hope. Show confidence in yourself and know that your newfound inspirations are divinely orchestrated and your ideas will be fruitful. It's a good time to make long-term plans for the future. <clears throat> Consider this card to be like the candles on a birthday cake. Close your eyes, smile, and make a wish. All right, so... And I feel like that's tying in with this ask for help energy. It's like, you know, you don't necessarily have to be asking another person. That's what I'm saying. I feel like you need to be like seeking spiritual help or spiritual guidance in a sense. Um, and then this is kind of manifesting, believing, kind of having that faith around what you are trying to see. Okay. And I also feel like, you know, this is kind of the energy of renewed enthusiasm. So something like you may, you may not be whatever but i do feel like there's a sense of spiritual happiness spiritual joy okay somebody may have even like realized their dream okay this is definitely the sense of kind of following your north star too, following your god like listening to the guidance listen to the guidance that you're receiving from your spiritual team right there's an angel message here that says we are so happy for you you are healed into a time of enchantment and joy be awake to the awareness that you have co-created this moment with the universe. Let yourself feel the magic. So this de this does definitely feel like a divine um, time and a divine energy. And it's like, ask your angels for what it is that you desire right now. Because I feel like, you know... Um, this is kind of like a wish come true. Like there's some type of fulfillment in the help that you receive. Okay. So I, I feel like it's going to be um, important for you to connect with another person. Or like I said, this is more so your spiritual team, your angels. All right. Um, you don't have to, like, you don't have to drown. And like, I want to repeat for someone asking for help is not a weakness. Let's actually see actions to take. What action does cancer need to focus on? Taking, being look, being persistent. I know that's right. Moving forward, that's what I'm definitely seeing in this star energy. And again, the water is showing up. What's what action does Cancer need to focus on taking at this time? Growing up, all right. But look, Helper is showing up here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this growing up energy, Cancer. One, it's time for you to step into your own power and know that you can help yourself. It's like, that's why I'm saying I feel like there's a renewed sense of um, 
a renewed sense of hope in self. <clears throat> All right. And so this is funny too. Because I feel like definitely... It, it had come up, Cancer, about maybe where you are always helping and people don't necessarily help you in return. Um, or you could have a fear of asking for help or accepting help if someone is, is willing to give you a hand. I do feel like this is a part with this growing up energy. Like I said, I feel like this is a part of your path and it's growing you spiritually. What's going on around your career, your finances. I feel like it's pushing you or calling you to kind of reach out and ask for help. Um, spiritual guidance, right? And that's a part of you kind of growing spiritually. Definitely the energy of help. I feel like help is here for you too, though. It's like you just have to be willing to accept it. There's definitely this energy of perseverance that keeps showing up, though. Um, here, back in the shrimp card, perseverance. You know, it is giving kind of light at the end of the tunnel. So, you know, challenge it. You may have definitely been facing some challenge. You may be found feeling like you're kind of drowning in debt, drowning in um, responsibilities, drowning in bills, whatever it is with this water. But I feel like, you know, um, help is on the way. Help is on the way. What's the outcome of cancer growing up? This growing up. Stepping up. What's the outcome of this energy for cancer? So promoting yourself, putting yourself out there. All right. There could be a new project that you're manifesting um, that has really big potential for success. And that's what I said. Definitely this energy is perfect for manifesting. This new money energy is here too. Um, with mechanics showing up. Cancer, I want you to know that you do have the ability to easily fix your finances, but there may be some type of sacrifice that may need to be made. And so that could be a part of this growing up energy. And the sacrifice could be just you asking for help. Cause some, you know, sometimes you may not even realize you, you may think that you are dealing with this issue all by yourself and not even asking, you know, for spirit, um, for guidance. All right. But I do feel like, yeah, not all hope is lost in this situation too. Like you may be feeling, um, you may have been feeling like, you know, you were losing hope. It's coming down to like a situation where it's like the last minute, the 11th hour kind of thing, but then boom, something kind of pops out at you some of you could be thinking about um doing something in the restaurant industry or um like nightlife events industry energy uh like events promoted promoted events things of that nature but um this definitely speaks about the law of attraction okay and you have to be the energy that you want um and so look definitely there's this being gifted right Something new that I feel like you you are working on and you're promoting. You may need to ask for help on how to kind of get it done. I feel like this ask for help too is um, maybe even knowing that you don't know something or know everything and asking for some type of assistance, being willing and open to, to hear that um, assistance, okay? But definitely, I feel like this is kind of invigorating a new sense of hope faith in your finances and being that energy like you have to embody that energy to manifest that energy okay but there if you have a new idea cancer um something that you've been working on it's time to promote it yeah it's time to take it to the next level all right let's see clarify ask for help for cancer what does cancer need to ask for help? Or why does cancer need to ask for help? More about this. So, um, yeah, okay. So, look, the turtle is here. Things could be kind of moving a little slow for you. You could be. That could be the challenging part, cancer. You're in some sort of rough patch. And I feel like this rough patch is a part of your um, divine plan, all right? So, yeah, this is going back to you being a healer. And that's why, that's why you're finances and career are kind of being, I'm not going to say necessarily attack, but it could be definitely very challenging. Um, things could not be moving as quickly 
or you know um manifesting as quickly for you i feel like if you are having to ask someone cancer to borrow something to like you could feel like um maybe you're low on cash or whatever where you're having to reach out there may be money owed to you but it's for some reason coming in very kind of slow or the progress of something that you started is like very slow you know when you start a new business some that could be the situation for someone you know of course we would all love for you know us to be a millionaire overnight in our business but sometimes you know um things come in slow kind of steady right i feel like this is uh talking about that progress but um i feel like spirit is saying definitely if you if you need i feel like someone may more so present help to you it's giving i'm seeing that card in the kipper now i'm actually gonna pull that out because i'm seeing kind of like that unexpected income card but it's more so like someone putting money in your hand so this isn't necessarily money that you may have worked for look great fortune is here at the bottom of the deck as i say that but um it's like someone may be assisting you and in that card i'm gonna show you the card look at you in despair in despair um and drown like why cancer why are you in despair and not asking for help it's like cancer um feels like they have to you know help themselves and it could be it's i feel like you're it's giving wounded healer okay and like i said this um situation or the energy around you right now is definitely a spiritual reason but this is the card i was talking about and look it just happened to be um in front of wealthy man so it could be a masculine energy but you see how this person is like this person maybe has on like a suit or whatever they got on jewelry and they're giving to like someone that may you know kind of be poor begging on the street it's like someone that's asking for help and i'm not necessarily um claiming that for you or saying that you're poor and begging on the street but you may have to ask for some type of um assistance and i think that definitely the six of pentacles energy showed up around you as far as where you may be on the receiving end of some type of charity charitable donation some type of gift clarify ask for help for cancer let's just see what comes out with the with the kipper deck but look sudden well tried to come out with main female so in interesting clarify ask for help for cancer message all right so yeah it feels like okay there um there could be something coming in very slowly it's like coming in from a distance you know what this makes me think of like distant horizons i don't know i've never read the card like this before but you know it's like offshore money or money coming from a, a a ways away and you know your bank could be tied to something like in another country or something like that this could even be like paypal because i know paypal is not in the united states or something right i don't know paypal is coming to mind but it's like and i hate paypal <laughs> i mean I, yeah i i ain't even gonna um, hold you i hate paypal because um it's and especially on the like as a business owner on the side because one sometimes they do hold your money it does it seems like they hold money longer um and there's more like red tape and fees and all that with them and so I don't know why they came up, but yeah, there could be something with them where, I don't know, somebody may resonate with that, or you may be getting some type of um, letter information, some type of message, all right, that's coming from somewhere, it's a number seven card, it's coming from somewhere at a distance, someone could be sending you message from, from a distance, letting you know that they are, uh, you know, wanting to help you. This could look like some type of letter coming from, you know, any place. Clarify this, ask for help. Yeah, look, that's that poverty income and um, unexpected income showing up. So, can't, so you may honestly be experiencing like this little bout of poverty where you feel like you're lacking or you're going without. And I feel like spirit is doing it. And I'm not laughing at you because it's not funny, but I'm laughing at the situation because I feel like spirit is putting you in the position. It's like, you know, um, before you're this, because, you know, people people who are kind of more so well off to do and that's why i feel like the great wealth transfer is happening y'all because money got to come out of these people hands that are 
move, like evil with it or you know not not moving in love with with love and so but you can't sir that's why you're basically getting trained now you gonna know what it feels like to not have anything or you're gonna know what it feels like to like be going without or struggling and having to ask for help um and so that is going to and then teach you it's spiritually teaching you how to help others even though i feel like you already know how to do that you know cancer it's kind of like we born with that you know but you're gonna it's gonna soften you and you're gonna be able to then in turn um be that hope for somebody else that you know that glimmer of like things are looking up right but that's what i feel like is happening right now for you cancer and yeah just confirmation that i feel like there's something unexpected um coming coming from a far off distance so it's it's not it's it's yet here <laughs> It's yet here. It's coming in slowly. Um, but I feel like it's already due to you. But yeah, you and, and honestly, this could be past energy where you were experiencing that rough patch. And now you're starting to see where things are kind of lightening up. All right. Um, but definitely cancer, if you resonate with the fact of being some type of healer or just where you care for, um, you know, a person in just a different kind of way. I feel like that's what's happening with your cash flow. That's what's happening with your cash flow. And you could also be someone that, um, it's like you are a person that helps, help, like the helper is having to ask for help. And you know, that's so funny. It's like, you know, the doctors make the worst patients. It's like healers make the worst people to be healed or helped. And so I feel like that's why you're kind of going through this situation. Spirit is trying to say, you know, you need to be in this position so you understand how it feels. You know what I mean? Um, clarify growing up for cancer, this action for cancer to take, I feel like this growth is spiritual and not in a physical sense. Okay. But also it, um, it feels like, you know, so your knees are met, came out following your dreams here at the bottom of the deck clarify growing up um that's what i was saying right in this energy of growing up i do definitely feel these uh the vibe of maybe trying to find some type of independence and making sure that your needs are met cancer. Um, and I feel like, you know, recognizing, and I'm not saying that you didn't know before, but recognizing that your needs are your responsibility and you can get them met by asking for help. You know what I mean? Um, let's, let's just see. Clarify growing up for cancer. So expectation and see, yeah, it's like as you it's as you grow spiritually, this there's a message coming from a very distant horizon. Like it's it's a little while off. Um hmm, interesting. It's a little while off, but I feel like you know, it's something that you've been expecting and waiting. So this could be some type of um this could even be some type of message about, you know, some type of money that was already owed to you, like some type of like settlement, inheritance, uh, what is it, retirement, you know, money like that. But I feel like, um, you know, who much is given, much is expected of, and that's the expectation is for you to kind of grow up. It's like, get out, stop being childish and ask for help. Stop thinking that you're a burden to um, someone or, you know, because I feel like you may have very childish. I'm not going to say childish beliefs around asking for help, but you may be kind of immature in that where it's not that easy for you to ask for help. I get it, Cancer. I get that. Um, clarify growing up. But I do feel like, yeah, as you're growing up, you're realizing that even if you don't have everything that you need, it's like you can sit in expectation knowing that you're manifesting. You have that spiritual belief. You have that spiritual power to be persistent in what you're trying to manifest and realizing still, even when if you don't have everything that you want, that your needs are met because you expect that, you know that, Um 
you know that your needs are going to be met. And so when you expect that, it's kind of law of attraction, right? Clarify growing up. Also, too, yeah, I keep getting distracted, but that's, it just keeps hitting me because it is kind of like, you know, how you may have been through this before, cancer, a situation where, you know, you hit a little rough patch in your finances, career, however it resonates for you. But it's like, it's not going to bother you as bad or rock you as bad because you you've built up spiritual um, resilience, okay? Spiritual wealth that helps you understand that your needs are still being met even if the situation doesn't, um, you know, feel like it, right? Business is showing up here too. So it may be time to elevate your business. Yeah, no, it's time for you to get into business with that new idea or it's time to get serious. It's time to get serious and get down to business about this new idea. And that's why Spirit is saying, look, promote yourself, put it out there. Um, this is definitely giving, you know, the star energy, putting yourself out there. You know, you could be the business, all right, um, there could be a little Im intimidation around hopping into the business world too, and so that's where spirit is kind of say, trying to kind of say too. I feel like grow up, um, but you know, to grow up means to elevate, um, and you're elevating your awareness around the things that you want, and so definitely elevating your mindset. I feel like there's more hope, more faith that you have in even in yourself. So this is really good energy for you, Cancer. Um, but definitely it's time to promote this new, like, this is the time cancer because things are going kind of well for you. Yeah. Networking, kind of putting yourself out there. Um, cancer, that's what you need to be doing right now. It's time to, to create and reach out to other people like you, like-minded people that will help you. I feel like that's a part of this asking for help. All right. Um, if you are in business right now, take this as a sign to beef up your marketing, your advertising, whatever. If you're not in business, take this as a sign that you need to get in business so you can start marketing and putting yourself out there. Okay. All right. Um, making the most out of your resources to improve your finances. Okay. Okay, so it's like um, taking the taking what you've been given and making the best of it. But there is just this energy of cancer. And I feel like cancer, you're about to be helped so that you can turn around and be a blessing to someone else. But there is definitely this energy of charity. I feel like you're going to be on the receiving end of um, an un unexpected kind of charitable miracle kind of situation. All right. Um, see also where you can find and give more of yourself. How can you serve cancer? I feel like, you know, when you think about your life purpose and how you can lead and make a difference, that's going to help shift the energy around your finances. That's definitely going to be the energy that you want to attract, right? Donating can create a positive energy around you and attract more abundance. Now, let me tell you about this, this charity, because that's what I'm saying. You can't, you can't fool God. Okay. And so don't just be doing something for somebody just to go and run and tell it on the internet and no, 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 no. It's supposed to be like, you cannot trick your intentions. So if you have intentions to do something nice for someone, um, out of love or just because you feel, you know, like that's the right thing to do. Perfect. Now, but if you have the intention that you're going to go do some charity or do a good deed to get good karma, like it don't work like that. Your intentions, you can't fool with your intentions. Like your heart is going to tell every time. Okay. But you can kind of, you know, think of where you can kind of put yourself out there. Um, and serve as an inspiration for others because I feel like that's what's going to um, kind of bring this energy back. See, people may have needed also to, this ain't just about you, Cancer. You needed to go through this little rough patch around your career or finances because other people needed to see that because they need to see how you about to be blessed up on top of that. Like how your faith, your faith ain't small, okay, Cancer? How you persevered and things are working. For, like this is a part of your story. You know what I mean? We went back to, yeah, when you get famous and then people go, interview you this is a part of your story okay and so then that's what i'm saying when when the money gets in your hands you're going to be more charitable you know instead of maybe people out here that are just money hungry and just trying to you know help themselves and not help others but i feel like definitely cancer spirit is is calling for you and asking for you to ask for your angelic help because you have it you have that assistance um for you like right now right here your angels want you to reach out. Um, but I feel like definitely this there's this energy of spiritual growth right now and happening. Yeah, look, high honor wanted to slide out. So um you could you could be experiencing um 
like this challenge y'all it could even be affecting you a little in regards to your health because you could be kind of stressed around um you know it's giving you know you could be drowning and that's why spirit is asking telling you to ask for help but i feel like this high honor is definitely this one the star energy of you being um kind of the star the star the star power but i feel like this high honor is being bestowed upon you as far as you know from rags to riches kind of thing you know from impoverished you are given this high honor of being a healer a um a servant of some kind to others um networking with other people that you know can help you kind of promote yourself and what you're doing to change the world so this is beautiful energy cancer around mid month for your for your uh your money your finances and career let's pull a prosperity message mid month for month for march prosperity message for cancer and see community wants to show up um i feel like definitely it's time to lean into your community cancer um where it's time to kind of build around your community here's that number eight card so the eights are definitely showing up okay some of you, I feel like, too, with this community, something about your community is changing. Your home is changing. That's what I'm kind of seeing here, too, in this community card. Um, but you may have to, it, it's giving community resources, and really, that's how, how it's supposed to be. You know, I got this, you got that. If we go back to when neighbors could come over and borrow this, let me get a cup of sugar, let me get, you know, it's giving kind of going back to that energy. And so you may have to, like, follow the nudge if you, if you are being led to ask for help or if someone's being led to ask you for help follow the nudge to being of service okay um definitely i feel like it's divine here all right so uh and i feel like you know you may find too where you find where you belong okay this is the time to kind of put yourself out there and network because you're gonna find you know where you belong those those family like friends friendships and connections that sense of family or even really just knowing your place in the world, okay? Being understood. So that's a really great feeling. But the prosperity message here says, whenever you're in a community of like-minded others, there is a powerful opportunity to reap great abundance. It's essential to ask, what can I contribute rather than what can I get from this? Figure out a need and look to fill it. Something meaningful will mani manifest, all right? Even if it man even if what manifests is small, it is a sign that the doors of opportunity will swing open wider, okay? It may be slow but steady, all right? There is also another meaning of this card to consider. Don't try to be all things to all people. Choose your role and be true to it and serve from a sense of authenticity. There is no greater feeling of accomplishment than knowing that you have purpose. And that's what it all ties back to, right? In this um in this overall energy, your purpose. All right. What fulfills you here on earth? And I just want to clarify the star. Let's see what shows up real quick. Oh, 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 oh. So look, um, this the gear is showing up plans in motion it talks about plans in motion it talks about gears you see how there are different gears and this is all like you know how we all have different gifts and we all make up one body right we all kind of work together this is definitely giving the energy of community and it's like the more that you connect with other people the things are going to be kind of worked out in the gears and money will start flowing around situations okay this is the energy of putting plans in motion um building takes time all right but um that's what's necessary okay that's what's necessary somebody this is um to somebody may find themselves like taking time off of work or taking time out of work or really just kind of like that may be something that you're doing or making some type of transition where you're taking a little bit of break and so you may have to like get assistance from you know people in the meantime this could even be like government assistance or whatever it's where you rely on the community around you to help and so and i feel like spirit has blessed you with the community one for you to if you haven't already um recognized them to do so and then for them to take care of you and vice versa it's not just about what you get out of the community because you have work to do around this community too cancer it's like you're both gonna be you know kind of 
helping the health of the community and helping the health of your finances and career in the same time. So this was interesting, y'all. I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that it resonates for someone. You found it helpful in some way. Talk to me in the comments and let me know. Give me a thumbs up button if it resonated. It's a free way to just support the channel. And I really, really appreciate it. Like I said, make sure your notification bell is turned on. So you're notified each time that I drop a reading. It's always for my cancers. In the meantime, though, in between time. Until next time. I love you.